Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we are thankful we glorify your name. We exalt your name for who you are. Thank you for this day. We thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for bringing us together once again. May your name be glorified forever and ever in the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you for the grace that you give to all to sleep and wake up Sunday ahead of this morning. For allowing us to be here at this first revival of this year, 2022. May your name be glorified forever and ever. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. in the name of God the Son, Amen. in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. You are all welcome to church and uh, happy Sunday to you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I think we all know the reason why we are here. Revival means to revive. Revival means to kindle the fire. Revival means to recharge. Just like your phone. When your phone gets down, when the battery runs down, you need to recharge. That is revival. Praise God. And revival also means to reconnect. Praise God. Revival means to warm. If you cook soup and it's cold, you have to warm it before you eat it. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. And revival also means to refresh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, as many that are connected to this grace today, every area of your life shall be revived. Amen. Every area of your life shall be revived. Amen. Every area of your life shall be revived. Amen. Every area of your life shall be revived. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the victorious name of Jesus. In John 14 and in verse 1, the Bible says, A man that is born of a woman is of few days and full of trouble. That is to say, no man is void of trouble. Anybody that is born of a woman is bound to encounter one trouble or the other. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a, say, my father, my father, my father my every, trouble every trouble in my life, in my life. during this revival, this revival, after this revival, after this revival I shall see them no more. 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 Before I get home, every trouble in my house, I shall not meet them. Every trouble I left at home, I will not meet them. Anything that is not of God in my life, before I arrive home, I will not meet them. They shall let me go. They shall let me go. They shall let me go. During this revival, every area of my life shall be revived. In the name of Jesus. 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 Say every trouble attached to my life. Every trouble attached to my destiny. I am not your candidate. Lose your horse from my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say I am reconnecting to the throne of grace. I am reconnecting to the throne of grace. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the victorious name of Jesus. And the Bible went ahead to say in verse 7 of that same chapter, John 14 and in verse 7, he said, there is a hole for a tree when it be cut down, that it shall spring up again. I don't know where you have lose hope. I come to announce to you, your hope will come alive. 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 I declare and I decree, your hope is coming alive. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say every area in my life that I have lost. 
coming to my hope is coming alive. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Psalms 18 and in verse 44 to 45. Say, as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Who are the day? Demons and satanic forces. Praise God. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Say, the stranger shall submit themselves unto me. Say, the stranger shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. Hallelujah. Say, every stranger. Say, every stranger. Say, every stranger. In my marriage. Every stranger. In my life. Every stranger. In my body. Fade away, 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 fade Stranger is somebody that comes to your house without invitation. For example, somebody comes to your house through the window. Is the person a visitor or a stranger? So anybody that comes to your house illegally is a stranger. Anything that God does not permit and is in your body is a stranger. If there is sickness in your body, is a stranger. If there's calamity in your marriage, it's a stranger. If there's trouble in your life, it's a stranger. Every stranger in my body, every stranger in my soul, every stranger in my spirit, every stranger in my body, every stranger in my finance, that for not a go, that your Lord and 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 go. God will answer. 
answer you. And God will 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 answer you. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Our team for this year says, My year of total liberation. Yesterday we did a lot about Lodeba and Goshen. Praise God. And we read 2 Samuel 9, verses 1 to 13. For those of us that were here yesterday, you saw it, and I know that God will visit you. Praise God. So today we are going to touch a little bit part of it, then we move on, and God will establish us in the name of Jesus. Amen. To be totally liberated means to be free. To be totally liberated means to be free from trouble. To be free from calamities, to be free from sickness, to be free from infirmity, to be free from poverty, to be free from lack, to be free from indebtedness. That is total liberation. And to be free from bondage. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The word of God says in John 8 36, He said, He that the Son set free is free indeed. I declare and I decree, you are free indeed. You are free indeed. You are liberated. You are free indeed. You are liberated. You are free indeed. You are liberated. You are free indeed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We also understood yesterday that the word Lord is symbolizes rejection. A place of rejection. A place of forgetfulness. A place of excommunication. A place of abandonment. A place of no pastor and a wilderness. That is Lord Mephibosheth found himself in Lord He was abandoned there because he was hopeless. Record what he said when he got to the presence of the king. He said, how can you remember me a dead dog? For human being to call himself a dead dog, you know the situation he was. But grace located him and brought him her. That same grace will locate you. 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 In the name of Jesus. I don't know the area that you have written yourself off and said no hope. I come to announce to you, your hope is coming alive. 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 In the name of Jesus. 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 I stand upon the word of God. In first King 18, verse 46. He said, The hand of God came upon Elijah the prophet. And he overran the chariot of Ahab down to the gate of Jezreel. I come to declare and declare upon you the grace of speed. The grace of speed is coming upon you. The grace of speed is coming upon you. The grace to pursue. The grace to overtake and to recover all is coming upon you. It's coming upon you. It's coming upon you. It's coming upon you. It's coming upon you. In the name of Jesus. That grace. That grace. Is coming upon you, grace of speed overtake is allowed in the house of God. You can overtake, you can overtake. It is not a sin to overtake. Overtaking is allowed. That grace is coming upon you now. That grace is coming upon you now. That grace is coming upon you now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Joel 2 25. He said, I will restore unto you the year that the caterpillar, the locust, and the pomegranate worm have eaten. Praise God. God is going to restore for you. God is going to restore for you. God is going to restore for you. Everything that you have lost for the past year, as you step into 2022, after this revival, I declare total restoration. 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 In every area of your life, in every expression of your life, total restoration. Total restoration. Total restoration. Total restoration. God will restore for you. God will restore for you. Everything that you have lost, God will restore for you. Everything that will be stolen from you, God will restore for you. Everything you have lost. Hallelujah. The word Goshen, we also talked about it yesterday. 
today. If Goshen is a place of plenty and a place of comfort, a place of success, a place of prosperity, a place of abundance and blessings. Hallelujah. So the, the Israelites, they were in Egypt, yet they were in a place called Goshen, a place of abundance. That's why the fact that you are still in Italy, grace is going to locate you. 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 When others are saying there is no job, you shall be a rejected job and say, I don't need this one. You will begin to select that this is the type of job I want. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Grace will locate you. Grace will locate you. Grace will locate you. In the name of Jesus. 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 It doesn't matter. It's not proposing that you must leave Italy. But God will locate you wherever you are. And he will turn things around for your good. In the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. And you will walk in prosperity. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God said in Genesis 22 and in verse 17. He said, in blessing, I will bless you. And in multiplying, I will multiply you. This year, 2022, God will bless you abundantly. Yeah. God will bless you abundantly. Yeah. God will bless you abundantly. Yeah. Say, 2022 yeah. is my year yeah. of total depression. Yeah. I will fulfill my destiny. Yeah. God will locate me. God will single me out for signs and wonders. God will single me out for blessings. God will single me out for abundance. God will single me out for blessings. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
your situation. God will turn around your situation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God will turn things around for your good. In the name of Jesus. God will turn things around for your good. In the name of Jesus. Whether the devil likes it or not, things will turn around for your good. In the name of Jesus. I can see everything. Before you get home, you will not meet that trouble. Before you get home, you will not meet that trouble. 
trouble. Before you get home, you will not be that trouble. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God will put this enough for your goal. In the name of Jesus. In the victorious name of Jesus. In the victorious name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In 2 Kings 4, verses 8 to 17, there was a great woman, the woman of the Shumanite woman. He saw a man of God passing, and she invited the man of God to her house and said, Sir, just relax here, have something to eat. And the man of God said, No, 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 don't worry. I insist, have something to eat. And he gave her water to drink, and he gave, gave him something to drink and to eat. The next time he was passing, he, the woman told the husband, said, let's prepare a place for this man of God. So that whenever he's passing by, you have a place to rest. And they make a chamber for him. Praise God. Yeah. And uh, later on, the woman said, how can I reward this woman that has done this great thing for me? And the man said to the woman, let me introduce you to the authority. And the woman said to her, don't worry, sir, I live among my people. And the servant said, I noticed that this woman does not have a child. And the man said to the woman, Ma, between now and this time next season, you will embrace a baby boy. And the, and the woman says, please don't just go there. That is a settled matter. Me and my husband, we don't want to talk about it anymore because we have tried all our best. We have accepted it like that. And the man of God said, Mark my word. I don't know the situation that you have been for many years. You have decided to accept it like that. I say, Since there is no solution, I just accept it like that. I come to announce to you, it's coming to an end. 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 It is coming to an end. In the name of Jesus. 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 That surprise is human and woman. That's it, God will surprise you. That's it, God will surprise you. That's it, God will surprise you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Matthew verse 46, as they came to Jericho, Jesus and his disciples, as they were going out of Jericho, a multitude followed him. Large, huge multitude of people followed him. And there was a beggar by the wayside begging for daily bread. Praise God. And he began to cry in a loud voice. said, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. And the people told him to keep quiet. Praise the Lord. They said, keep quiet. You are disturbing the master. And after everything, the man cried the more. Praise the Lord. And after which the attention of Jesus was drawn. And Jesus told him, what do you want me to do for you? He said that I might have my sight. And God, Jesus prayed for him. And he received his sight. Praise the Lord. So why do I bring this one out? There was multitude of people, maybe millions or thousands of people. But God singled him out for miracle. Was he the only one that was sick in that multitude of people? He was not the only one, but God singled him out for miracle. That's when God will single you out. 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 In the name of Jesus, you will stand up among the outstanding. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. We pray. I say grace will locate you. I say grace will deflect you. I declare and I decree. Grace will locate you. Grace will locate you. Grace will locate you. In the name of Jesus. I close with this. There was a young man, he was an Arab boy, and he gave his life to Christ in his country. And they were persecuting, they wanted almost wanted to kill him. He ran away to Britain. Praise God. 
And as he was in Britain, he was pretty difficult. He was able to speak little English, so he decided to attach himself to a restaurant and he was walking there. Praise God. So, long story short, another Arab man came to the city and was looking for a house to buy. And he doesn't know how to speak English. Praise God. So, after some days, he went to the restaurant where this boy is working. So, as he was more money, the guy heard him speaking Arab. And he went close to him and said, he greeted him in their language. And he was like, you can speak Arab? He said, yeah. He said, I'm from Arab. I am an Arab, Arab boy. And he said to him, look, look, look. I wanted to buy a house, but I can't understand the language. And he said, can you interpret for me? And the man, the boy said, yes. He said, look, I just give me three days of your time. And the man said, if I follow you, they will sack me from this uh, place of work. Praise the Lord. And the man said to him, each day that you will follow me to interpret for me, I will give you one million pounds for three days. How many years is he going to work in the restaurant work to get that one? That was grace that located him. That's a grace to locate you. 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 Anywhere you are, even if you are hiding, even if you are sleeping, I said grace will locate you. 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 Whether the enemy has it or not, grace will locate you. Grace will locate you. Grace will locate you. He said, Get that located on you. That's why Christ will locate you. In the name of Jesus. 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 Your suffering is over. Your trouble is over. This is our year of total liberation. You are liberated. You are set free. He that is not set free is free indeed. You are free. You are liberated from the shackles of darkness. You are free. You are liberated. You are liberated from trouble. You are free. You are liberated from sickness. This revival will find good in your life. This revival will want to stand up for your poor. In the name of Jesus, God is with me. In the name of 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 God is with me. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we pray. I have a Father that will never ever fail me.
every area of your life will be revived. Every area of your life will be revived. You will not cry this year. You will not mourn this year. You will not lose anything this year. God will visit you. God will single you out. God will single you out for signs and wonders. God will single you out for miracles. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Because the word of God says, He said, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in hell. Even as your soul prospers. That is total prosperity. That is your portion. That is your heritage. That is your portion. That is your heritage. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit, so shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The thing for the man. Amen. 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 Amen.